would like to speak to our children in this clip that they must listen to their fathers in the quotes a quote here says that a father's love is like a shield protecting you from harm a father's love is like a shield protecting you from harm but our children nowadays don't want to hear that they feel that the father is overprotective overbearing does not know anything but we are here to say that fatherhood like we have defined is a demonstration of love and here we say that a father's love is a shield use the shield of your father let your father's love protect you from harm another one said a father's love is like a treasure valuable beyond measure a lot of us reject the advances of our fathers reject the love advances of our parents and we say no 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 i'm old enough to be on my own no i'm old enough i'm old enough to take decisions for myself if you have a godly father will say please listen to your fathers a father's love is like a compass always pointing you in the right direction children let your fathers protect and guide you let your fathers be there for you but a lot of a lot of you prefer your peer group pressures you prefer peer pressure to godly counsel from your parents it ought not to be so so we are saying here that let us allow our father's love to work for us another quote says that a father's love is like a tree growing stronger with each passing year we are to love our fathers more and more not hate them not dislike them we've seen cases of where some children went abroad and after they left they never communicated again with their parents no don't do that you bring pain you bring grief don't do that another quote says that a father's love is like a river flowing endlessly without reservation your peer group will love you with reservation we love you with a lot of misgivings but your father wants only the best for you only the best for you another quotation here says that a father's love is like a flame burning brightly and never extinguished the love of your father can never be extinguished but some of you bring pain you bring sorrow you bring anguish your parents are old but yet you have not deemed it fit to settle down to give them peace don't do that don't do that Instead, let your father's love, which is like a garden, nurture and grow each day. Let your father's love nurture you and grow you. It says here that a father's love is like a mountain, strong and unyielding. A lot of you refuse to go to school or refuse to do businesses, refuse to follow your father's footsteps. I'll say here that one of our our fathers that we just celebrated a day, a democracy day in his honor. He had airlines, he had uh, bookshops, he had bakery, he had, um, what do they call it now? Newspaper, he had so many businesses on. But I had one of his children say that there are 52 children. I think he said his father had 55 children. Udo was paying school fees for about a hundred and something. But where are the businesses? Where is the airline? Where is the bakery? Where is the bookshop? Where is the, the newspaper? Where is all the businesses? So I want to say here that children, if you see your father's labor for a business, sustain the business. Let it be a source of income for you. It may not be, be your area of interest, but you can put somebody there pay people to make sure that that business goes on. We've seen businesses that are 100 years old. 100 years old, are the parents there? Are the funding parents there? No. But what has happened is that successful generations have sustained those businesses. That's why I can see the business 100 years old, 100 years old, 200 years old. You may not like it, but you can keep it. You can let the business run itself and let the name continue. A lot of you just come, you shut it down, you shut it down, 
we just had democracy day the funding the person we are celebrating where are all the businesses that we had where are they so we are saying let us not be like that let's not bring children that bring grief that bring shame that bring sorrow let's not be children that refuse to listen to the fathers no the children may be uh, big men and big whatever everywhere else but if posterity will judge posterity will judge them as failures because those things their fathers labored for they couldn't keep them afloat you must keep it afloat you must keep it afloat you must put people to to sustain it to sustain that legacy to sustain that name to sustain that business so we are saying here children don't say that is you yes in the time past you find a family you have a a lawyer, everybody will be lawyers, everybody will be this. But if you cannot, don't want to be a lawyer, no problem. But you can let that chambers go on. You can let partners come in and the name will continue. That hospital, don't want to be a doctor, yes. But you can let the hospital run itself. You can bring in doctors to run it. That educational outfit, you just don't walk away, no. You can let the system run itself. Put auditors. Let the, that business give food to people to eat while you run your heart desires. So we can go on and on and on giving examples of why children must listen to their parents. We have given a lot of quotes praising fatherhood. We are saying that fathers, we enjoy it, we like it, we love it the more if children pay attention to their fathers godly fathers if they listen to the teachings that they have been taught they will do them good first timothy 3 4 says that we have read it in one of our teachings we'll read it again that the father is one that ruleth well his own household having his children in subjection with all gravity so when the father says no night parties no late nights no a lot of things they know what they are talking about we just saw on on the news just last week um, a, a daughter graduated and the parents came for graduation let's go let's go he said no i want to party with my friends and at the end of the day they only saw her without parts her body disembarked so many cases like that some have been giving school fees go and do they go and pay school fees they go and do naira bet don't do that when your parents talk to you and they caution you listen listen don't join yahoo yahoo don't join the fast lane watch your parents your fathers that show good examples some fathers don't show good example though nowadays you see some children some fathers are smoking and drinking you see children there smoking and drinking they are doing parties you see some children parents are there you'll be seeing the children dancing useless dance hope Provocative sexual dances, small, small children making love in broad daylight, small children that they are dancing and the parents are there. They are not talking of those kind of parents. You see joints, you see more women with children, babies in joints. Those are not the kind of parents we are talking about. Because these days it's like they say that if they grow, they don't have anybody to take care of them. So they too, they want to give birth. But in an ungodly atmosphere, we are not talking of such parents. But parents that are proper parents, good parents, listen to them. The admonitions may be tiring, may be grievous. The Bible says it here that it, it may, may be grave, may be too harsh for you, but it is for your good if you listen. If you listen. First Timothy 3 for one that ruled well his own house, having his subject his children in subjection with gravity, with reverence. Follow suit. Follow suit. Proverbs 13, 24. Proverbs 17, 24 says that he that spared his rod hated his son, but he that loved him chastened him be times. Are we able to chase chasten our parents, our children these days? If not started, say, leave me, leave me, leave me. Talk rashly, talk rudely. No, don't do that. In one of the uh, family quotes we quoted here, father quote, he said, a father is someone you look up to even if you are taller than him. Even if you are taller, you must respect your fathers. You must listen to your father. Proverbs 19, 18. Say, chasten thy son while there is hope. Every chastening is for you. 
Every chastening is for your good. Don't do this, don't do that. It's not to restrict your enjoyment. It's to make sure that you grow proper. A lot of you, they are telling you, those things you post on Facebook, they are bad. They will work against you. You don't want to hear. Just I just read a few days ago. I've read several like that. Somebody took off, called off a marriage. He wanted to marry, but a young girl put a comment in her, in her Facebook. And the man said, hey, this one, he may say you, you will commit adultery if I marry you. He just called off the wedding by her nasty comment, agreeing to something she should not even comment on. Some of you post a lot of bad things. They'll be telling you, don't post this, don't post this. They say, no, in the name of her. I had cause to keep telling a boy, I say, he's posting uh, his church a lot of religious things. I just checked his profile. Inside it, with his name there, agreeing to that post, a lot of pornographic posts showing naked raw pornography. I told him more than once, I said, I've been to your page. Go and remove that thing. Go and delete it. He didn't answer me. I called him again. Go and delete it. He didn't answer me. Go and delete it. The last one I called him, I said, come. He now, he now gave excuse. He said his phone. He uh, doesn't have his phone. I said, but you are making posts of your senior pastor. Who is doing it? He says he's the one. He only come to post. I said, the time you used to post, before you post, delete those things. I just only just last week he deleted it. How can you be posting on your post pornography? Pure pornography in broad daylight. I told someone, a youth, I wanted to pay for something and he gave me his OP number. That is, he, those, some of those uh, pay outlets are phones and it was his phone. Come and see the big busted lady he puts half naked. I told him, I said, you, something is wrong with you, do you know? Because I've told him in a simple language, remove it, he didn't. Then the next time I saw him, after several, I said, so you don't even mind. Your mom will phone you and be seeing this thing. And you're comfortable. People even do pornography and hide it. Your own broad daylight. When your parents are telling you now you don't want to hear, it will work against you, you ladies. When they want to marry you, the mother and father will just go and check the page. Ah, hey, this one is a loose girl. What do you want to do with this one? It's gone. Interview now. They don't have time for long stories. Say they are doing interview. Uh, where did you come from? Where did you, they may just call you just to see your personality. But all they need to know about you, they already know. They just go to your Facebook, your Instagram, all those social media. Check what you are posting, all the rubbish you are posting. They just condemn you there, this one. <laughs> uh, it's not a good, you won't represent us well. You've lost it without knowing that you lost it. So while your parents are admonishing you, your fathers are talking to you, listen, listen, listen. It's a chastening their son where there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. Some parents say, continue. <laughs> we will not stop, we will continue. But please, hear. The wise son, hear. The wise son here, Proverbs 29 15. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Proverbs 29 15 says that a child left to himself bringeth his mother shame and his father agony. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So, as we celebrate our fathers, our governors, our senators, as we celebrate our caregivers, our superintendents, our augurs, our all in all, our husbands, our sons, we are saying here that children. Please listen to the fathers. Don't bring pain. Don't bring reproach. In those days, when we are living home, they say, ah, hey, you remember who you are? Oh? You remember where you are coming from? Oh? You remember the family you are representing? Oh? But not even without leaving the home. See the rubbish you are posting, disgracing your various families. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And so, Father, I want to say thank you. We lift up our children before you. We declare and decree that they must hear us. They must listen. As the fathers speak, as celebrating fatherhood, they will listen. They will not say they are bigger than the fathers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give them a heart that hears. May the peer good pressure not carry them away. We refuse to lose our children to the social media in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. Thank you for spending your day with me. We have a lot of clips. They are in, in, interdependent interdependent of one another they are independent of one another but related the topic on this occasion is a special celebration in honor of our fathers and we've had 
topics that celebrate our fathers. Defined fatherhood, hairs together is a topic. Father quotes, fathers, so many topics. They are independent but related. Thank you so very much as you take time off. Play one clip today, tomorrow another. Just play, play, play. On Facebook, we have over a thousand videos. We are on our 2000 match. Messages that inspire, that give hope, courage, strength. I reconcile you to your maker that are entertaining. <laughs> Sometimes, you might say, when I look back, they love me. Talk this one. Yes, by the power of the Holy Spirit. They are better than the bloggers. You will learn wisdom. You will you, 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 you be inspired and encouraged. So many benefits from going to YouTube, Edit Attack, Church on the Air, Banner of Love Mysteries International. On Facebook, by the special grace of God, we have five vibrant pages, short scriptures, nation building, ministers of the church. Thank you so, so very much for streamlining. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. There's continents of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Are you out there? You don't know Jesus. Ask your personal Lord and Savior. We can't close without an altar call. Jesus loves you. You, the sons and daughters, Jesus loves you. Your fathers love you. Your mothers love you. I'm talking about fatherhood. You can only celebrate your father by doing well. By doing well. By working hard. Not doing yahoo yahoo. Not cutting corners. Not cheating. Not stealing. Not just sleeping from day to day. That there's no job. No. Go out there and create something for yourself. God loves you. You may repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you said that your sins are forgiven, get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. The daily devotional has broken the words, broken down the Bible for you. As you read by the power of the Holy Spirit, you'll be inspired, encouraged, and strengthened. Thank you so, so very much. God bless you. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer of Love Ministries International. A pleasure coming your way. God bless you.